am i audible now guys i think i'm audible right now yes yes cool fine so good evening am i audible now please check Yes. I think I'm audible right now. Yes. Cool. Okay, fine. So, good evening guys. Welcome to class today. Um see first we have discussed paper 1 already. Today we are going to discuss the paper 2. Okay? So, instead of going straight away into the classes, I want to make you understand what you are going to actually study. Okay? So that is the best way to do. You have to understand the syllabus first. Only then and everything will fall in place. If you don't know what you are going to study, you won't have any idea about what you are doing. Fine? Yes. I will answer all your questions. Uh, don't worry. Okay. See, if you are in class 12, uh, no problem. You can always start your preparation. Optional preparation, no issues at all. Okay. You can start your preparation. Fine? Yes. So for this, I would like to thank India's largest learning platform, an academy. because they have given us uh, given us this option by providing us you know uh, unlimited access of live classes you know daily live classes live test and quizzes today we had a quiz guys it was awesome okay so i will give you my telegram channel everybody of you can join my telegram channel we also cl have class for gs and nas of no prelims revision is going on okay yes and the courses are structured accordingly and you can download this app both in the google play store and apple store and about me uh, people who have already come to my class i am like reintroducing myself uh, to anyone new also welcome to my class i am subakirtana so this is my telegram channel's link and this is my unacademy platform's link uh, you go there and watch all my special classes they are all free okay and about me i am an engineer basically i have 4 years of teaching experience for civil services and tnpc i have mentored more than 1000 students and i am an anthropology faculty too you might have known that now right so i have a teaching experience in terms of neat also so i you are all having the uh, you know opportunity to interact with 100 plus top educators and the syllabus is also designed you know based on that you are meeting the demand of upsc examination this is the subscription details guys especially coming to the iconic So yes many people are asking me this is my first uh, year preparation ma'am i'm just starting my preparation or uh, someone in colleges someone in schools are also starting your preparation no problem at i will tell you go for iconic because in iconic you have something called as you know personal coach and personalized feedback along with that you have live classes test series unlimited practice guys upsc is all about practice okay everybody studies everybody gets the material now initially how it was whoever was able to get the material clear the exam but now everybody has the content internet is providing us many classes are available but how do you clear this examination by proper practice okay our class also will be like that only it's not just you know class format we have to do many practice also i will we will be taking the class in terms of the demand of upsc how to write an answer how question will come from this particular topic that kind of you know approach will be always best so if you want that kind of approach you know iconic is always better okay so iconic and in in terms of iconic i give you my code suba suba you get a 10 percentage of discount okay so you also have no cost emi and uh, that's for 12 months and 24 months you have a no cost emi okay for plus also you can use my code suba suba and you get a 10 percentage of discount okay i will tell you join immediately because how much time you save in the preparation process the very soon you clear the examination if you soon clear the examination you have the possibility of reaching heights in your service okay more more year of service so more promotions etc fine going into the class and about my special class guys it's free okay don't think like you know how can i attend it's free just download the app just log in to the unacademy website you can come to my profile and join my special class and my special class is already recorded also you can just go and watch people are who are giving this attempt or people who are new also can go and watch how to attend mcqs fine going into the topic anthropology paper 2 okay 
so in terms of anthropology paper 2 what is the thing so the first part we saw many concepts and then the first part uh, first paper 1 we saw many concepts and diversified concepts we saw from biology we saw something from history we saw something from uh, you know uh, uh, economics polity society culture and then applied anthropology we saw something from genetics everything we saw coming to anthropology paper 2 anthropology paper 2 is an indianized form of paper 1 that is what i will tell you whatever you studied in paper 1 you will be studying it in the indianized form okay we will be seeing the anthropological perspective of our own country so when you understand this paper 2 when you are very good at paper 2 what happens is that your other gs part will be it will be very helpful on the other hand as a bureaucrat what we have to do we are going to serve for the public we are going to serve people so when you understand people well what else you need to be a best bureaucrat you everyone can be a good bureaucrat but you know if you understand this part you can be a best bureaucrat okay yes and one more thing anthropology paper 2 can take more information can take more content from gs i will tell you where which are all the parts gs will help anthropology which are all the parts anthropology will take help from gs fine we'll go into the topic the first evolution of indian culture okay so in terms of paper one also we see paleolithic mesolithic neolithic age everything in paper two we are going to see it indian specific we are going to see indian specific okay that's the only difference fine and then we also will see indus valley civilization okay yes uh, uh ragini are you asking for anthropology specifically indus valley civilization pre harappan harappan and post harappan cultures contribution of tribal cultures to indian civilization okay see this part we will be studying in ancient history here we will be studying that with more evidences more evidences and case studies more evidences and case studies so that your history part also will be really good and then we will be studying about tribal cultures and second paper will have a concentration or a focus on tribal uh, culture okay i will tell you one thing guys tribes especially in india we can be very proud that we have a very rich culture of tribal communities but uh, have we understood them well that's the first question second question there is also another problem we think that we have to make them developed we think that we have to make them developed sometimes what happens we instead of giving them development we are actually exploiting them okay so everything will be doing this here okay everything will be understanding it properly next paleo anthropological evidences from india and special reference to shivaliks and narmada man okay so in first paper we study about we studied about the evolutionary levels of human beings the, the ancestors of human beings here we are going to study about the ancestors of ancestors of human being especially in concentration of india okay yes see guys don't worry i will definitely tell you the resources for anthropology so today we'll just understand the syllabus and then i will tell you the resources do not worry okay I will definitely give you the resources. I will give you the book list also. Don't worry. I will also share it in my Telegram channel. Next class, when we are starting the class, when we are starting the introduction to anthropology, next, that is my class, introduction to anthropology. I will start with the resources. Fine. Don't worry. I will definitely give you the resources. Fine. Okay. Next. See, uh, in terms of uh, anthropology, for anthropology, if you are asking me current affairs for anthropology, uh, you can use general current affairs, like, you know, when you study about tribal communities and then uh, when you study in the, uh, when you are uh, studying in the normal current affairs, you know, some new invention and then related to science, anything can be source for anthropology, okay? Like you are seeing a new marriage system, generally you are seeing a new marriage system just like you just you can just go and search in the inter, uh, internet like interesting anthropological case studies everything is a source okay you don't have a proper source for anthropology alone what i will tell you is take these resources from you know various uh, uh, materials you see in the day-to-day -day life okay yes
okay fine from next uh, i will try to share the pdfs okay yes fine. next is ethno archaeology in india the concept of ethno archaeology survivals and parallels among the hunting foraging fishing pastoral peasant communities see these types of communities we also see in first paper and their uh, culture in second paper in concentration with india that's the only difference so in india see this part you will be you will have more you can take more help from art and culture also see here arts and crafts producing communities also we will be studying okay yes fine next demographic profile of india okay so demographic profile of india ethnic and linguistic elements in indian population see in constitution article 29 has spoken about minorities so minorities they speak about two kinds of minorities religious and linguistic minorities okay here we are going to study about ethnic and linguistic elements in indian population and their distribution indian population factors influencing their structure and growth so which place the population is higher which place the population is lower or what are the reasons for the higher population lower population every culture what they are you know uh, what is the unique feature of every culture in india ethnic communities linguistic communities based on the languages how they are together how they are divided everything will be seen okay yes next the structure and nation natural uh, nature of traditional indian system see this varnashram purushatra karma rina ribat everything you know varnashram we know four varnas you know uh, uh, brahmana uh, kshatriya vaishya sudra purushatra is like you know dharma uh, all these things you know the four rules of uh, hinduism all these things will be seen traditional indian social system what is the belief system in indian traditional system okay apart from all the religion indian system has specific uh, you know uh, specific belief system so what are those belief system how and we will be giving the case studies even today certain belief systems are followed it's intact what are those all these things will be seen fine yes see uh, my you can definitely start your preparation in the anthropology some people what they do they take their ug even in their optional subject and that is also happening if you are in 12th standard some people are also doing that taking their P, uh, taking their ug you know after their 12th standard taking their ug as their optional subject they prepare for uh, exam prepare for the examination parallelly and when they finish the degree when they reach the 21 years of age they give their first attempt okay that is also possible no problem at all you can start your preparation no issues at all you can always start your preparation parallelly make sure that you are preparing for what class you are in okay so if you are in 12th standard make sure that you are preparing for the 12th class also along with the optional okay that balance if you are maintaining that's really good okay good all the best okay all the best then caste system in india see generally uh, we people are talking about caste system as political factor okay we know in india caste system even though people are educated even though people are you know uh, uh, economically becoming coming forward in the society the caste system actually decides many things in our country okay so in that situation we are going to see about the caste system in detail because caste system in india is one of the important social stratification okay so there are many kinds of stratification especially in india we have social stratification which is caste system fine so that we will be seeing okay okay see guys uh, paper 1 or paper 2 see let's do one thing let's come to a conclusion what you people are going to do is note down what are all the doubts you have okay so i will just move on with this class so in this class if you have doubt you can ask me then and there if not i mean general doubts ma'am like a uh, case study kind of question like how can i prepare ma'am you know i have this doubt ma'am how uh, will anthropology help me in my mark scoring these kind of general question 
please note down after the class is over i will be giving you some time so when you ask question i will help you at that time as of now what you can do is you can just ask me the question anything related to the class like anything related to the discussion as of now so what happens if you are asking me doubt is here either i will miss your doubt or i will answer your doubt and the flow here will be you know uh, somewhat changing do you understand so let's do this so what we will do i will start with this uh, discussion i will go with this discussion i will be explaining you then and there and then what happens finally when i discuss you know paper 2 syllabus is very much less compared to the paper 1 syllabus here the number of words in the syllabus is less but the depth of the syllabus is even more important so what we will do general doubts save it for the end of the class there you can ask me the doubts okay i will be very happy to clear you the doubts there now we will be going with the flow of class fine so whoever asked me doubt already and i have not cleared your doubts please note down and finally post your doubts i will answer every one of your doubts okay i will be very happy and it's my pleasure to help you with your doubts clear fine so we'll go into this okay so coming to caste system in india we know that very well caste system in india is you know something we cannot deny okay if someone is saying that we don't have caste system in india definitely we cannot we cannot accept that we do have caste system in india okay so and for that system also we are going to study the structure and characteristics we are going to try to understand not just seeing as a political factor we are going to see it as a social factor okay we are not going to talk about is the caste system good or not as i told you already in terms of anthropology you have to analyze both the positives and negatives honestly that is what is anthropology i don't like caste system you know i am not a supporter of caste system but still when i come when you know uh, when i uh, write the anthropological answer i cannot deny that india don't have caste system india do have caste system how the caste system is uh, what are the structure of caste system what are the characteristics of caste system what is the difference between varna and caste okay initially varna ashram system was based on the occupation okay but now the caste system is not just based on the occupation so what is the difference between this and what are there are many theories related to the origin of caste system what are those theories related to the origin of caste system what do you call as dominant caste how a caste gets a status of dominant caste and then caste mobility how does people from same caste are distributed in different place in future what will be the caste system what is the future of caste system now what is the uh, position of caste system in our country initially what was the position now what is the position in future what will happen to the caste system okay based on the reservation nowadays you know what happened initially socially depressed classes were very much depressed but after this reservation process they are represented in the society especially government offices but it is not enough okay so everything we will be speaking about what is jajmani system so in jajmani system usually happens uh the suppressed class people will you know do some works to the dominant caste and it, in exchange they don't get money in exchange they get some goods like rice grains okay some uh, food all these things what is that jajmani system where is it followed today next tribe caste continuum how tribal how tribe is becoming a caste okay so what is the continuation what is the relationship between tribe and caste all these things we will be seeing see after this paper 2 you will understand the indian society very well and till now you might have a very different ideology related to indian society okay some people might be very proud about your caste system some people might think caste is your identity okay so some people will be thinking about your community some people will be totally against the caste system so everyone will understand okay what is the need of caste system yes caste system is something you know needed but the way it is uh, looked at is sometimes not right okay so we'll be seeing all these things what is caste system what is the structure and characteristics instead of seeing it as a political point of view instead of seeing it you know in a positive or negative point of view we are going to try to analyze what is the caste system that is what will happen in this particular part okay so in future after you finishing after you finishing this topics you'll have a better idea about this caste system and if you are asked question related to caste system 
you know if you are asking question to someone who is not an anthropology someone who is not studying caste system about this caste system in their classes they will have a very different answer but when you complete this uh, explanation when you complete this preparation you will have a very crystal clear idea about caste system okay for this definitely case studies are important paper 1 and paper 2 it can be anything case studies are the one which will help you score marks okay the clarification with the concept along with a very uh, important and valuable case study will boost up your mark okay fine we'll go to the next topic sacred complex and nature okay in india so uh, uh, compared to any other uh, society any other culture Indian culture is inseparable from nature. Yes or no? Indian culture is inseparable from nature. So here we will be seeing about sacred complex and nature. So what is the sacred complex? Okay. In India, what do we call it as sacred complex? We will talk about man spirit complex. We will talk about religion in this. Okay. How do we see religion? How man is thinking that he is having a link with, you know, spirit complex, all these things we will be seeing here, okay. What is the belief system in, in, a, in Indian culture? It, it varies with different cultures. What are the belief systems in different cultures? Uh, all these things we will be discussing here. Next, impact of Buddhism, Jainism, Islam and Christianity, okay. So, we know that Indus Valley Civilization was there, Indus Valley Civilization was there, IVC was there. And then uh, after coming to this IVC, uh, we had Vedic, uh, you know, Vedic culture. So Vedic culture had a different kind of religion, which we claim to be Hinduism now. Okay, but the term Hinduism or it was not properly defined. Okay, the, the gods we pray now are not properly defined, sometimes indirectly defined based on the interpretation, it varies. Then came the Brahminism. When Brahminism came into our culture, okay, so the later Vedic period only we had Brahminism. So when the Brahminism came into culture, the present day Hinduism started getting its shape. So what happened later when the present day Hinduism was starting to get its shape, the Brahminism actually started dominating the Hinduism and it, it, it created a thought that God is only belonging to, you know, the people who belong to Brahminical communities. So at that time, when people were so much fed up, then came the Buddhism and Jainism, in which both the Buddhism and Jainism did not give importance to the caste structure, did not give importance to the social stratification. There was stratification, but they did not give much importance to them. So because of Buddhism and Jainism, what changed in the Indian society? After Buddhism and Jainism was there, again Brahminism, uh, you know, uh, 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 Brahminism started dominating. But then came the, uh, uh, you know, people from the Middle East, the conquerors from the Middle East came, Sultanates, Mughals came and Islamism came into the Indian culture, okay. And then when the British came in, sir, when the Europeans came in, sir, I, I can't only say British, when the European came, came, in, came inside, when the European people came inside, Christianity also started coming into Indian society. We cannot say that Christians, Buddhism, Jainism, Islamism and Christianity completely destroyed okay they had both positive impacts they had both negative impacts what are those positive impacts what are those negative impacts everything we'll be seeing okay how it changed the society how was the indian society previously how these religions changed the indian society okay with respect to tribal people also we'll be seeing how tribal people got influenced by Christianity. If you are going to northeastern India, many tribal people are following Christianity. Okay, we will be seeing what are all the reasons for that, what are all the impacts of Christianity on tribal community also. Fine. Next, emergence of growth of anthropology. So, this part we will be seeing about anthropologists, Indian anthropologists. I will be giving you the list of Indian anthropologists. When you study about the list of Indian anthropologists, what you should know? You should know their name. And then their time period, timeline, and then their books and works, works in anthropology. And then their contribution to Indian anthropology. In terms of Indian anthropology, what is their major contribution? This is what you have to study. Okay, so 
you know in a in a uh, in a proper notes on each anthropologist okay with some 200 words uh, like you have to have an 20 mark question kind of 20 to 25 mark question kind of answer for every anthropologist we'll be having some 10 to 15 anthropologists that's all not more than that okay so emergence and growth of anthropology in india in terms of 18th 19th and early 20th century scholars and administrators what were their contribution to anthropology in india okay anthropology helps to understand a society very well okay in that situation we'll be seeing in detail with person specific like or anthropologist specific indian village we know very well that village is the backbone of india okay so in india it's like the uh, basic unit of our country village is the basic unit of our country we'll be studying about villages also significance of village study in india indian village as a social system traditional and changing patterns of settlements okay so recently in 2011 census they have told that rural to rural migration is the highest rural to rural migration is the highest okay so how this traditional changing patterns of settlement takes place what are all the intercaste relationships among the village in village between different castes there will be a kind of relationship okay so what are those kind of relations it's not just marriage many kind of relationship exist in intercaste relationship of a particular village so what are those this caste people will be performing this function this caste will perform this function what is what is the relationship between them how does a dominant caste play a role there all these things will be seen and then agrarian relations in villages we know very well the indian villages depend upon agriculture okay so we will be seeing the impact of globalization of indian villages so what happened because of globalization of indian villages so because of globalization of indian villages what happened many people started migrating to different places in search of education many people started to migrate to uh, different places in search of business employment opportunities and the many industries that are coming to village places they are setting up more industries in the places where villages are present now because there is abundant labor and then there is a change in cultural uh, uh, fabric of villages because of this globalization you know the uh, entrance of technology the entrance of media the digital digitalization of today's world is changing the uh, you know social fabric of villages okay so that also we will be seeing next linguistic and religious minorities see we also have it in the polity article 29 and 30 okay see guys in terms of paper 1 uh, you have to write general example we have various sources yes in terms of paper 2 you have a very big opportunity of using your gs as the examples and answer paper 2 you cannot write purely anthropological we are all bureaucrats fine we are not going to become anthropologist we are going to become a bureaucrat so how will a bureaucrat will become he will become a good anthropologist or he will become a good bureaucrat with anthropological ideologies obviously the second option so what you have to do is when you are writing these okay linguistic religious minorities their political and economic status obviously you should take help from society uh, society part of gs take help from polity part of gs okay so take help from uh, economy part of gs this is all will help you okay yes definitely i'm telling you guys you should remember anthropologist name that is the that is the important point to success you can write anything you can give your own explanation for marriage you can give more ex uh, own explanation for tribe everything is fine but you write the anthropologist name only you get the answer because that is the authenticated source it is always important to remember the anthropologist name it's always important to mention the anthropologist name okay keep that in mind fine so mentioning anthropologists two or three anthropologists in single answer will like boost your answer boost your mark don't ignore the anthropologist name you should definitely keep the name of anthropologist in mind you don't have much anthropologist guys okay you have a handful of anthropologists you can just you know uh, study about them and then write okay don't worry about it fine yes so linguistic and religious minorities you should know what is a linguistic minority what is a religious minority linguistic minorities based on the language religious minorities based on the religion okay 
so what are their social and economic status that we will be doing see we i am actually taking anthropology class for public administration please do wait in the optional channel definitely there will be someone taking the class some educator a very good educator will start taking the class in public administration but we are handling you know we are discussing anthropology only fine okay next indigenous and exogenous process socio cultural change in the indian society so what is sanskritization westernization modernization many people confuse between westernization and modernization both are not same what westernization is the influence of western culture influence of western culture into the indian culture for example we start wearing the western dresses we start eating the western cuisines like you know burgers pizzas these come under the concept of westernization modernization means we start having the modern thoughts like you know not following the orthodox indian cultures we start following some modern uh, you know modern practices which is comfortable to the indian society which is you know even more good to the indian societies fine that is what we will be seeing in the westernization and modernization many people confuse between westernization and modernization we think that we are modern when we wear a modern dress modern dress in the sense here we i we talk about western dress okay many people think that westernization is modernization no okay it is not based on the western influence you will become modern some people wear jeans and t-shirt some people wear sarees some people wear kurta and uh, you know pajama some people wear you know uh, coat suits that doesn't mean the people who are wearing coat suit will be a forward thinker people who are we wearing traditional dresses uh, will be a person with orthodox mindset no okay so that is westernization the the culture the cultural influence of western ideology is called as westernization not following the orthodox uh, uh, performance uh, not following the orthodox practices you know making modern uh, ideologies making modern practices comes under the concept of modernization okay yes Yes, yes, definitely I'll talk about this, uh, Karan. Definitely I'll talk about this related to mathematical optionals. Fine. Yes. Next. See, as of now, uh, in plus, uh, I mean, as of now, our anthropology class is going on YouTube, which is free for everyone. You are always welcome to join the classes. No issues at all. and in terms of unacademy platform i am taking special classes which is also free okay so as of now all my classes are you know uh, uh, in youtube and in the unacademy platform very soon i will start classes in the plus when i start classes in the plus i will definitely inform you guys okay but other than that i will definitely guide you irrespective of you know uh, uh, you in the plus or not i will definitely guide you don't worry okay but i will uh, tell you you can always you know uh, contact me in the educator uh, you know an academy platform you can message me you can you know uh, join the telegram channel i will definitely guide you it's a pleasure you know helping you people it's a pleasure to learn from you people also fine coming to sanskritization how the sanskritization you know the language sanskrit and the ideology from sanskrit started influencing the indian culture okay that we will be seeing in this sanskritization part then interplay of little and great tradition panchayati raj and social change how panchayat raj and social change is very important in terms of indian culture media and social change media how media is creating a great influence that is also very important fine next no no we will have all the classes in our, uh, youtube don't worry okay we will have classes in youtube definitely don't worry next problems of tribal communities still now uh, you know till this indigenous and exogenous process we are seeing about society indian society as whole we are seeing about indian society as whole fine see guys i am telling you if you have general doubts please keep it to the uh, end of this session i will give you time you can ask me doubts as of now if there is any doubt in what we are discussing please do ask okay yes so please uh, you know please like you know uh, save your doubts at the end of the session i will definitely give you a time give you time i will definitely help with all your doubts okay yes next tribal situation in india now we are going to see about tribal community in detail 
okay tribal people are indigenous people their culture is you know uh, uh, they are culture they are geographically socially isolated and they have their culture you know uh, uh, intact from the past that is why tribal community is very important because tribal people when we study about tribal people it will also help us to learn about our past so tribal situation in india biogenetic variability what is the genetic variability among the tribal people linguistic and socio economic characters of tribal population and their distribution geographical distribution also we will be seeing next problems of tribal communities so what are the problems of tribal communities we think that tribal communities are very much you know uh, they are like you know suffering so much we are going to lift them up actually we are creating so much problems non tribal communities are creating so much problems to tribal communities for example land alienation in name of uh, uh, in, in name of developmental project in name of you know uh, infrastructural project land alienation land alienation means tribal people are sent away from their own land they are given alternative land but still living in their own land is different from some alternative land so the land alienation poverty among tribal people indebtedness so tribal people do not know the real value of money okay so those people are exploited from uh, the people from outside you know in name of forced labor in name of debts in name of you know uh, uh, bonded labors all these things happen low lit low literacy poor educational facilities because in tribal people the major problem is language it is very tough to find a teacher who knows both that particular tribal language and who has you know the knowledge of studies so that poor educational facility is one of the major problem unemployment under employment so what happens people are exploiting tribal people by giving them very less salary okay and then health and nutrition most important problem in terms of tribal community they are not getting proper health especially when tribal people are in uh, you know hilly areas they have so much deficiency they face so much problems all these things will be seen developmental projects and their impact on tribal displacement problems of rehabilitation in these places you can use the parliamentary acts forest rights act and then camp for all these things you are use you can use development of forest policy and tribals impact of urbanization industrialization on tribal population what happens because of urbanization means you know uh, more uh, uh, infrastructural development in the tribal areas what happens because of that how the uh, how the encroachment uh, of tribal lands uh, in name of industries is affecting them all these things will be seen both the plus and minus it's not that tribal people are always suffering and we are always you know uh, creating issues we have both the sides we are going to analyze the both the sides of all the topics next problems of exploitation and deprivation of scheduled caste so this still now tribal people now we are going to see about the scheduled caste also till today there are so much deprivation we we are saying that you know uh, uh, some people say that uh, reservation is not right all these things till today the scheduled caste community are deprived their own rights we'll be seeing all those things what how they are exploited how they are deprived of their own rights both scheduled community scheduled tribes and other backward classes and for them what are the constitutional safeguards we know very well have we that we have this national commission for scheduled tribes national commission for scheduled caste okay this is the constitutional safeguard in constitution what are the other safeguards prohibition against discrimination article 50 prohibition uh, and and then uh, uh, provision for equal opportunity in public employment abolition of untouchability there are so much provision along with this national commission for sc st where are the places where tribal people constitutionally and uh, by government what are the safeguards which are available for tribal people that we will be definitely seeing next social change and contemporary tribal society what are the important modern democratic institutions on the tribal people developmental programs welfare measures on tribals and weaker section we have this trifid okay here every current affair from your gs will help you guys whatever current affair you study about tribal people you can use it here you you need not go do a special work or something use it from the tribal go to the tribal ministry website gain some uh, uh, information from that what are the measures taken to help the tribal people what are the schemes for them everything will help you in answer writing okay yes here you you can write about ministry of tribal affairs and then uh, what is trifed 
all these things currently what are all the positive things going for the tribal people everything you can write the concept of ethnicity yes ethnic conflicts and political developments unrest among tribal communities within tribal community itself have fight okay uh, and then regionalism and demand for uh, demo, uh, autonomy in the northeastern people the tribal people are demanding for autonomy okay so what are those issues that also we'll be seeing pseudo tribalism some people claim to be tribes but what is the problem with tribal uh, uh, you know what is the problem with pseudo tribalism social change among the tribes during colonial and post independent india so what happened for tribal people see especially the impact of christianity you will see okay so what happened the christianity during the colonial period the christianity started influencing the tribal communities during the colonial period and post independent india what was the social change that took place among tribal people that also we'll be seeing yes one the notion of a tribal people also you can use here fine next impact of hinduism buddhism christianity islam and other religious tribal society see general society hinduism came into india i mean hinduism uh, emerged in india but in tribal society many tribal people had their own religion have their own religion but later what happened this hinduism buddhism christianity and islam started influencing their tribal culture because of that what are all the impacts what changed in their cultural fabric all these things will be seen next tribe and and nation state tribe state and nation state a comparative study of tribal communities in india and other countries okay what is the position of tribe in india what is the position of tribes in other countries with case studies obviously any answer you write you have to definitely write with case studies clear yes history of administration of tribal areas we'll be studying all these you know recently we have first we have inner uh, uh, inner permit limit and then we have this you know uh, scheduled areas all these things were there in the colonial period itself and then now after independence we have schedule 5 schedule 6 and what how how these administration takes place who have the power what are the programs for tribal development and their implementation pvtg primitive tribal groups and then we have this particularly vulnerable tribal groups and then denotified communities what are those everything we will be seeing here okay yes and then role of ngos in tribal development we will be seeing some important ngos uh, i mean ngo as case studies but how ngos are helping the tribal people we saw so many problems in terms of education and then i will give you an example so in odisha uh, what happened uh, there was an aluminum industry uh, they they start they wanted to start the aluminum industry in odisha but what happened the tribal people uh, they wanted to start it in a mountain there in odisha so what happened the tribal people are actually praying that uh, hill as god because the hill is the only source of water and food to them so what happened they don't have the power the government have given permission they don't have power to fight against the company the company is very big company so at that time what happened the ngos only took that to world level uh, issue and then the protest took place all over the world and then the government had the pressure from outside and they gave the ban on that particular uh, industry to start in that particular hill okay so we'll be seeing these kind of information we'll be seeing these kind of information with the name of the tribe the name of the company year everything in detail okay so that is what will will do it in terms of this ngos in development role of anthropology in tribal and rural development how uh, we can use anthropology in tribal and rural development see this point guys keep it in mind why if you go to the interview if you go to the interview definitely you will be asked why did you choose anthropology okay so because it's very rare for you people you know for most of us here it's very rare that we have done our ug or pg in anthropology it's very rare mostly we'll be some from art and science or you know from humanities and then from uh, engineering background some people are doctors here okay there are various courses we we could have done but anthropology is very rare so 
so in interview definitely there is a possibility of we getting the question instead of you taking ug particular ug i am an engineer okay so some asking me you are an engineer basically why did you choose anthropology as an optional there this role of anthropology in tribal and rural development will definitely help because an anthropologist will properly understand the needs of tribal and rural development without ethnocentrism number 1 okay because based on the ethnocentrism we think that what life we are living in is the best life okay we think that uh, a person is said to be best life because he is having a very high fi house he is having digital technology all these things but in many places the health will be a basic need but we will not understand that instead we'll be trying to give electricity so an anthropology i mean a person with anthropological background will properly understand tribal people will properly understand rural people without ethnocentrism okay so what will happen the developmental projects will be even more effective without uh, uh, even more effective when we have the anthropological knowledge than a person who is not having an anthropological knowledge okay that is the only difference because when you finish this uh, class we will have uh, you know you will have the ideology about uh, what is actually a tribal community what is actually a rural community what actually they need from us all these things you will understand yes yes contribution of anthropology to understanding regionalism see today this is the most important problem you know that very well regionalism communalism ethnic and political movements so to understand this regionalism communalism ethnic and political movement how anthropology will help us okay wherever you get posted definitely you will have the concept of regionalism communalism ethnic and political movements especially today vote banks are based on this okay uh, in central we have this communalism based politics in regions we have regionalism based politics in interior of every state we have ethnic based on ethnic based movements so in all these things how anthropology will help us to properly understand okay i'm ups selection can yes yes no problem at all see uh, university grants commission should have approved your university then you then the degree from that university is valid okay don't worry about it at all fine yes so this is about the path 2 guys see path 1 and path 2 i will just compare here okay part 1 you will have more concepts in general okay part 2 you also have incidents facts and case studies with respect to india so indianization of part 1 is part 2 obviously the interchanging okay some people will be right thinking like part 1 is only part 1 part no see here you have some case study you can use it here here you are studying some case study you can use it here bring a concept from this and use it here from this you study a concept you can use it here it's not like part 1 should be written here part 2 should be written here unless and until the answer is relevant you don't have any issue okay this is the success fine yes fine clear fine so now before uh, now i am giving you time guys you can ask me doubts related to whatever you want to ask me related to anthropology or in general okay yes as a beginner how can we proceed to preparation okay i will tell you what many people will do a mistake many believe that they can uh, study their optional once they clear the prelims that that's the bad decision that is the worst decision how you have to start is you have to start with don't see actually there is no proper division between prelims and mains the proper division is the only thing where the prelims is objective type and mains is descriptive type this is the only difference but whatever you are going to study is same so what i will tell you as a beginner you should practice for both you study the materials you have you go to you attend all the classes you have and take both test that is daily two questions at least two questions from your optionals at least two questions from your mains subjects and you know after some time start with the test batch for prelims also when there is only 4 months before the exam 
four months or three months before the examination completely go for preliminary preparation okay so that is how you can do well because for preliminary preparation if you prepare for preliminary examination you have one year for mains you have only three months preliminary examination is only for 200 marks mains is for 1750 marks one year you are using for prelims only three months is it even possible okay is it even possible not possible that is why i tell you do a parallel preparation obviously with your optionals because optional needs more depth compared to other gs studies because in optional on, alone you have two papers your optionals should start becoming your you know should start becoming a part of you always okay keep that in mind okay at least two questions daily from optionals you should definitely write fine yes next see definitely we will discuss related to the resources of anthropology next class i will give you the list of books don't worry about it at all cool fine next Okay, see coming to this, can we refer to Truman biology book? You can refer guys, the concepts are important. Okay, it's not like this book, that book concept. Genetics, in whichever book you study, provided with that book is giving authenticated data, you can use it. I won't tell you that you should only use this book, no. So if you use Truman biology, if, that, if it is not having any errors, if it is not having any mistakes, follow it, no problem at all. Okay, yes. Shall I totally rely on you, ma'am? I will tell you one thing. I will give you a base. Okay. Tomorrow you can not ask me, ma'am, whatever uh, you said alone did not come in paper. Extra also came. See, in UPSC, I will guide you. I won't tell you people, uh, you know, I can't bluff saying that you can completely rely on me. No. What are the components? Understanding of the subject. I will help you with that. Guiding of answer writing. I will help you with that. But the practice part note making part and also uh, with the terms of you know uh, updating your notes enriching your notes you only should do okay i can't do it like in, you know it's like schools and colleges this will not work but without this class it's really tough to study because the basic understanding the base for anthropology i will help you do it on that the building construction part is what you should do fine yes next uh, I will discuss anthropological, most of the anthropological concepts, don't worry, okay, yes. In how many hours, I can't give you the exact hours, but minimum of 50 classes, minimum of 50 classes, I will take, okay, yes. See, you can't change the syllabus, I mean, uh, what will be the change, I will tell you, some updations, complete change will not take place. Some thing, one part or two part will be either removed or extra one part will be added. That's all. Don't worry that the syllabus will be completely changed. That's not that's not possible actually. Anthropological concepts are that only. Okay. So some part might be added, some part might be deleted. That will happen, but the entire syllabus will not change. Definitely will not change. Okay. Yes. Yes. I will help you in understanding anthropology. I will give you the clear-cut ideology, clear-cut perspective about how to approach your anthropological, anthropological optional, how to write answers, everything I will help you. Definitely I will help you with that. Yes. Okay, current affairs part. See, in terms of anthropology, we can't call it as current affairs. We can call it only case studies. Okay, case studies, examples, that is what we will call it. Current affairs part is like will keep changing year to year. Okay, definitely I will give you the information like end of the class that year's compilation of current affairs related to anthropology. I will share it with you in the telegram channel. I will share important current affairs that will definitely take place. You also should enrich people. I'm telling you. Okay. Anthropology gets linked with geography. It has a slight part. Because, you know, most of the cultures are based on geography. That's right. But I don't know if you can rely on anthropology for geographical studies. Anthropology is a completely, uh, what to say, it's an umbrella subject. Under that, we have different studies. But will that alone help you prepare, uh, prepare geography? No.
so if you are in 10th standard start studying the basics start learning history start learning geography start learning about science scientific concepts what you are studying now do it very much thoroughly okay so that is what you should do as of now prepare the important concepts properly find try to attend classes try to understand how it takes place try to understand the process find yes see related to taking notes next class i will give you the source and i will also tell you how to take notes from my class okay definitely i will do that because without that it is not possible to move forward successful manner i will also give you information related to note making very important it is how to take notes fine definitely i will do that yes providing notes providing notes i will give you this uh, pptes okay and i will give you the source class notes when i'm taking the class take uh, you know hand notes otherwise listen to the class and then after the class is over just play the class and then take notes that you can do fine i will not give you the i see in terms of optional i can't tell you that whatever notes i give is enough if someone is saying that you definitely can't believe that okay optional is more dynamic generally whatever you study in upsc is more dynamic if i can give you book and make you clear the examination it will be very easy i am being very honest okay i will give you the base definitely i will give you the base with that base you should enrich your answer you should do more practice you should bring in more examples i will give you one example in class for marriage if everybody in the class whoever is attending my class is writing that example alone you will not get good marks you should understand based on my example and you should go and start searching for more examples okay that is how it helps fine so someone is writing example of one community the other one should write from other community start searching for more interesting and unique examples fine yes by the end of december this is september right october november december yeah i will try to finish the syllabus within the end of december i will try to finish the syllabus okay yes see uh, anthropology you have uh, ma anthropology ba anthropology okay msc anthropology is there there are so many options uh, uh, indira gandhi national open university is there ignu so you can just go to the website and search for it indira gandhi national open university there you can just go and search for what are the courses available based on anthropology yes yes i will give the practice questions okay not at the end of every class at least at the end of every topic at least at the end of important topics i will also divide it in the segments and i will give you questions okay don't worry we will we will also do one thing i will give you questions and time you write the uh, write the test one class we will only have for discussion of the of those particular questions alone that also we can do okay i will give you the idea about how to write answers also after a uh, few classes you will have a clear cut idea about what is anthropology how it is going and then we will start that kind of practices in the classes okay yes okay thank you any other doubts guys if you want to ask you can ask me i'm very happy to help you okay and uh, every alternate day we will have class please join my telegram channel if there is any change in that that is the only way i can contact you and inform you i will also try to uh, you know reach you through the an academy platform also please follow me there also fine yes so this is how it will work please be on time and uh, you know come to the telegram channel it is in the description okay so you can just go there in the description you can see my telegram channels link okay so in that link you can just go and join to the uh, join there okay so there i will just ask them to give the telegram channels link okay so please do start using that fine okay see uh, college students uh, if you are in the first second and third year first and second year start doing start going with the uh, uh, gs okay i will tell you please join iconic because in iconic you will have the clear cut idea about everything 
so you people in college means you are very lucky that you have more time for preparation process so start it early don't think that i will finish the college and start preparation it won't help okay so study in study with the college daily at least 2 hours or 3 hours you spend it for upsc coming to final year you spend it completely you know uh, you have to give it your 50 50 time for college and upsc when you finish the college 100% for upsc and finally when you are giving your first attempt you'll be completely ready okay so that is the trick here see i will take uh, my classes in the youtube channel only okay most of my classes for anthropology as of now i will be doing it in the anthropology channel yes see uh, uh, mr nagarjun rao are you give, which year you are giving okay 2021 you have good time start it today start your preparation today you do have good time okay you have enough time religiously start preparation preparation today okay yes next class day after tomorrow 7 pm all the alternate days 7 pm we have class fine yes see in the question the question paper okay i will also discuss you the old question paper don't worry okay after introduction to anthropology after understanding anthropology i will give you question papers and show you how the questions come it will be straight guys the question will be straight and crisp there it is not lengthy okay it's not like every word is like you know you have to study four or five pages no simple concepts are important okay impact of buddhism 10 points impact of jainism 10 points that's all you're going to study actually the syllabus is not that lengthy if you compare to others and the classes will be very less okay when the other class are taking 60 uh, classes minimum we'll be finishing it in 50 classes itself that is how it actually works fine so don't worry see alternative class alternative days today we have class tomorrow we don't have have, have class day after tomorrow we'll be having class that is how it works here okay yes yes guys thank you so much please comment also i will help you like this video share this video and please use my code FUBA SUBA to get a 10 percentage of discount okay so use my code SUBA so that you get a 10 percentage of discount in the subscription especially many people who are asking uh, who are asking me about uh, college preparation first year preparation I will recommend you iconic guys why you have a personal coach over there you have someone to help you who, who are, you have someone to be with you always and help you in the preparation process please do opt for iconic because it is worthy of your time time is very precious in terms of UPSC preparation as soon as you clear the examination the long time you have in your service and you can accomplish many things in your service fine yes thank you so much thank you so much of course we can cover your optional uh, uh, mishra no problem at all you can cover your optional okay yes good night good night good night adar thank you thank you so much see uh, i am not that good at hindi but i can do one thing i can explain you till you understand okay so don't worry about that okay that process i can definitely you know assure you okay yes thank you so much guys have a good night have a night good night sleep and stay fresh tomorrow start your new day prepare properly plan accordingly go for iconic you will have a proper study planner follow it religiously you will really you know rock it in the examination fine okay that's what i told you uh, mr you can cover your optional first no problem at all you can cover your optional first but the only problem is someone what they will do uh, you are saying that in 2023 so now it is 2020 so 2023 is like at least two years you have some people what they do they finish their syllabus first and keep it aside and eventually they will forget the concepts if you are starting your syllabus today the anthropology optional now you have to practice it on day to day basis daily you should keep practicing okay any year okay any year start practicing keep practicing from now onwards okay when you are starting the optional from that day you should start preparation even three months if you leave gap you will lose that touch in the optional and that will be a disaster it will be like you are starting new okay so keep touch with the optionals always fine yes yes i am from south india
okay yes fine diagrams yes uh, rakesh you have asked that ma'am do we need to make diagrams also you need to draw diagrams don't worry you need not be an artist basic diagrams i will also help you with that diagrams don't worry okay fine fine guys have a good night thank you so much today the class was awesome and if any doubts please do comment i will definitely reply you with the comments okay have a good day and then have a good night sleep study well take care of your health stay happy keep smiling okay thank you bye bye guys